Okay, do some acetic acid. Great ride. Winiga. Okay, so let me pull back some boards. And get some room. Part D and Part D is okay. yeah. Uh, consider D, um, we want to have to hit the eyes, but the first thing you're going to have to do is write out the equilibrium in question. So, equilibrium, and in case you forgot what the equilibrium was, you can always look up above in the problem. It was already there. We had to have that to solve for the delta G. And uh, we're going to hit the ice. And what is, uh, uh, before we get started, I want to know whether the approximation is going to be valid. The approximation which we're going to use, and what approximation am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. Well, if I can neglect that x term in the denominator. Do we always need the approximation though? Um, uh, yeah, well, no. We the, the actually, you could the, solve it with the quadratic equation, yeah, right. but it's going to really be a lot of work, and for very little gain. The race is hardly worth the candle. The approximation just provides us sort of the great simplification. And we just want to make sure that the approximation is going to be a, a valid approximation. Yes? Do you want us to show the approximation on our paper or that's our scratch work? Um, well, no, you should probably show it on the paper. Ideally, it's going to be, uh, and so I'll do it over here. Uh, I've got the molarity, which is 2.0, divided by k, which is 10 to the minus 4.76. And uh, that's equal to, what is 2 again? 10 to the 0 0.301 divided by 10 to the minus 4.76. And that is much greater than 100. Uh -huh. Much greater than, 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 than 10. Well, we can even solve it. What is this? Yeah. 5.061 equals 10 to the 5.061, which is much greater than 100. That's actually greater than 100,000. Why do you use 100? 100? Um, because the real question is going to be, is it going to give us a, a, a is the uh, percent ionization of the compound, our crude, this is just a rule of thumb. The percent ionization of the compound is going to be about 5% ionized or less. And uh, so this will be the case if the uh, uh, molarity divided by the uh, K is greater than 100, greater than or equal to 100. Then our approximation is valid. We're not going to see realize more than about 5% ionization, in which case that x term in the denominator is going to be negligible. 
The other way we could do it is use the approximation, solve the problem, and then solve, show that it's less than 5% ionized. Um, either way, I find this is the easiest. Uh, well, 100, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So that's that's where the 100 comes from. Okay, it means that that term in the in the denominator is going to be so far to the right of the decimal. It's really not going to influence our results, and to the point, the, uh, to the precision of a pH meter. So I, you get, I don't care if your pH meter has how many it has to the right of the decimal in it. It's how many in the right of the decimal that I actually believe with a straight face. And so I'm, with most pH meters, if I've got two to the right of the decimal, I'm feeling like it's a real good meter. You know, that's as far as I would take it without starting to laugh. And so this means our approximation is not going to give us anything that's really going to disagree. Your general as a rule, pH meter is going to be good for uh, uh, actually one sig fig in the mantises, use of what you get. <coughs> Not two. The part of the left. Okay, what is that? When I have, when I'm talking about mantis and characteristic, what is the characteristic? The, one the, the part of the uh, and the exponent to the left of the decimal point. The decimal point divides the exponent into a characteristic term and a mantissa term. The mantissa term, re, uh, the characteristic term reflects the order of magnitude part of it. And the, the, the mantissa term reflects uh, how the precision of that, with respect to that order of magnitude, how many to the right of the decimal do I have, how many sig figs there are, how precise I am. So the mantissa contains the precision in, in, in this exponent. Okay, so uh, that's, uh, I got way off topic here. Let's get back on track. Um, ice. Now. Well, what's my initial concentration? 2.0. Uh, 2.0. What's this? And the change is? Minus X plus X plus X. X and X. And so now I want to start with my uh, uh, K which is 10 to the minus 4.76. As the reason we wanted to derive it in this form, this makes the problem easy. It is equal to x squared over 2 minus x. And now I use the approximation. It's about equal to x squared over 2. And so, therefore, um, Two, I'll just put x squared is equal to 2 times 10 to the minus 4.76, and that's equal uh, to. Uh, one half. That's one half power. Well, no, no, it's squared still. Oh, okay. So, what is 2? 10 to the point 301. 301 times 10 to the minus 4.76. What do the rules of exponents have me do? Uh, I add, and so that's equal to 10 to the uh, minus 4 point um, 4 5 9, yeah. Okay, and that's equal to x squared. So now that means that x is equal to 10 to the minus 4.459 to one half power, the square root. And the advantage is, since we kept every, we got everything up there in the exponents, we can use the rules of the exponents. And then finding the square root is a simple matter of dividing by 2. And so on a piece of scratch paper, I go 2 goes into 4.459, 2.2. A 9, 5, which is way further than I need to go. Uh, fine. That means that this is equal to 10 to the minus 2.2295. And that, uh, well, well, we can simplify it. Well, 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 
will truncate it in a little while, will we'll, we'll round off in a bit. That's equal to my hydronium ion concentration. Okay. Uh, is that molarity? And so pH equals the negative log of 10 to the minus 2 point, let's just go 2, 3, 2 to the right of the, uh, uh, 2 in the mantissa. And uh, what's that? 2.23. 2.23. Okay. And so I really like this as an exercise. Playing with the exponents. So is that going to be a 15 point problem there? Why? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, probably 10, 15 points. It's, it, it, it's a good exercise. It's a good practice. Okay. So everybody comfortable with that one? That one dialed. Okay. <laughs>